Welcome back to another paper theater build. This week I'm doing a wood style paper theater called Break Time from the Studio Ghibli film Spirited Away. It features No Face, the really cool ghost man, I'm not sure what he, I guess spirit, as well as the little rat thing that used to be a giant baby and the little bird thing that used to be a bigger bird thing from the movie. This is a wood paper theater, so it only has five layers, and it's a little bit smaller than the standard paper one, but I still think these are really cool. I think these, they feel more substantial since the frames are balsa wood, and some of the pieces are balsa wood as well, as well as the colored ones are paper, and... Overall, I had a good time with this paper theater build. Um, it's pretty easy. I think it said it was three diamonds out of five diamond difficulty. But I I don't know. Maybe I'm used to them. I felt like there was nothing challenging about this one at all. Except for maybe the little bird man had some pretty tiny pieces. But other than that, I felt like this was, this was pretty easy and pretty fun. I obviously enjoy making them. I upload a new one every week. If you are not aware, the Regal Cinemas, you have to check your local one, but they have Studio Ghibli Fest going on. I believe there are four more Studio Ghibli films. I think four. It's going to be the end of the year. Uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. I think it's August 1st or something. They're, they're typically on su Monday? Sunday and Monday? I think Sunday is at 3 p.m. on in in English and then Mondays at 7 p.m. in Japanese. Um, you should check out Regal Cinema. Um, they have a lot of Japanese things that are one or two day event only. One day would be in English and the other day would be in Japanese. It is something to keep in keep in mind. The Regal Unlimited, if you choose to do that, it does not apply to these movies. Even though the brochure uh, does not tell you that it doesn't apply. Um, I had an attendant when I went to see The Cat Returns last month. An attendant came in the theater before the movie started, and he handed out brochures and was like, everyone sign up for Regal Unlimited. It's only $18 plus tax a month. You can see unlimited movies. And I told him I was only interested in seeing Japanese stuff in the Studio Ghibli Fest film. And he said... Well, it's any 2D film, so those are applicable as well, and you'd be saving money since we have several before the end of the year, and you can do a three-month trial. And I was like, wow, that sounds great. We looked at the brochure together, and it did not clarify that any Fathom event or Met Gala event or anything that's, essentially anything that's only like a two-day event does not work. So the, I believe like the 40th anniversary, anniversary films and stuff, I don't think that's eligible either. Um, but yeah, so I signed up for it, and I wanted to see The Deer King, that was supposed to be on July 13th, and when I went to get my ticket, it said, you can't get your ticket because this is a Fathom event, and so I tried to cancel with, um, Regal Corporate, and they said, nope, you can't cancel it because you should have read the fine print or something, but that's literally not what the attendant told me, and the brochure does not clarify that as well. It says, any 2D movie... And then it'll say, like, IMAX and the other things that I'm not familiar with. And it said those are an additional dollar fifty to $3 charge. And so at that point, I called the local Regal that I went to and was like, um, can I speak to the manager? And the manager was like, what's up? And I was like, I went and saw the cat returns. This is my Regal number if you don't believe me. I had an attendant tell me, sign up for Regal Unlimited. And they said... Any 2D movie works, and I told him I was only interested in Studio Ghibli and Japanese things, and he goes, those totally work, and you can see any other movies too if you want, and I was like, wow, that sounds like a great deal, because, you know, Halloween's coming up, and I love horror movies, and she was like, do you know his name, and I said, I don't know his name, but I described him, and she said, let me, I know who that is, so let me verify that's what he told you, because he should not be telling people that, and we've trained them, that's incorrect, so she called me back an hour later, and she's like, I am so sorry, uh, Regal Corporate's not gonna get you a refund, but what I can do is I'll get you those four tickets that you're interested in. So there's three Studio Ghibli movies 
within the time period and the Deer King. So she got me those and she said, you can, you've already paid for the Regal Unlimited, so you can see whatever movies if you're interested, but I'm only going to give you the four tickets, which was cheaper than, like, I ended up saving money slightly because it's like $18 plus tax a month and a movie ticket is $13.50, so just two of them would be like $26. So at that point, I am saving like $6 or something. Plus, there's the convenience fee from using the app before you get Regal Unlimited. It's like, I don't know, it brings your movie ticket price up to like $15.44. So, that all that being said, don't sign up for Regal Unlimited if you're only interested in Japanese movies because those do not apply, but Regal Unlimited works for if you're a movie fan for other movies that are coming out. I'm, I'm interested in seeing Black Phone. Uh, I think by the time that this movie, or sorry, this video goes up, I would have already seen it. Um, kind of interested just because I've already paid for it in seeing where the craw dads sing, as well as Nope by Jordan Peele with Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer. And what else? Oh, I think, I think this movie comes out next month that I really want to see. I think it's called Don't Worry Darling. It's got Florence Pugh and Harry Styles by Olivia Wilde. It's another horror movie. I really like Japanese things and horror movies, so I'm interested in that. And regal tangent aside, um, Kiki's Delivery Service is coming up. You should go check that out. It'll be in theaters soon, as well as Only Yesterday, and gosh, what's the other one? Oh, Howl's Moving Castle, in that order. And then, I think it's November 1st, Tuesday, November 1st, I believe, is the Japanese language uh, version of Spirited Away. That one is a Tuesday, because October 31st, Halloween is on a Monday, so they moved it to the next day. But I will be seeing that one as well. I don't have a ticket for that yet because that's out of the three month period for the Regal Unlimited thing, but I still have my tickets for the upcoming three Studio Ghibli films and I'm very excited. I love seeing Studio Ghibli things and seeing them on the big screen is just really fun. I don't really like going to the movies, but I do like going to the movies for Studio Ghibli, as well as just random Japanese movies that I never heard of. The Deer King was really good. I mentioned that in another video. And um, I saw Fortune Favors Lady Nikuko um, a few months back. That was really good, too. That one made me cry a little bit. And the only other thing I like to see in theaters is um, Wes Anderson movies. I love Wes Anderson, y'all. I'm about to do more painting videos, I promise, but um, one, of my, one of my goals in life, I've got two goals in life at this point, one of them is to be a, a Magic the Gathering artist, like not even, not even like full time, I just want to have like a card at least, I think my life would be great, as well as have some, just like one painting in a Wes Anderson film. Anyway, tangent aside. This is the final product. It's uh, No Face eating some. I don't know if that's cake or an omelet, but it looks good. Oh, it's definitely a cake. And um, yeah, if you bake a paper theater, tag me in it on Instagram at Darby Fine Art, and y'all have a good one. See ya.